Podtacular episode 136, multiplayer tips and map of the month for the week of November 20th, 2007. Well, you know, it's okay to have those feelings about me. I'm a handsome, handsome man, but uh, your timing's lousy. Welcome to Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. You're about to hear what the Halo Nation had to say about this week's topic at Podtacular.com to help you dominate at Halo. So strap on your Spartan armor and grab a battle rifle because it's time to finish the fight. It's come down. I'm JVP. I'm Mr. GSL. And I'm Tar Heels 3. Alright, guys, welcome aboard. What's up? Yes. You, 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 you are both the, from what I heard, the first <laughs> members of Pontacular to reach the uh, infamous level 50 on Halo 3. Oh, yeah. I'm close. That'd be me. I'm close. Tar Heels, he's, he's creeping up there. He's, you know, crawling that wall. Hmm. Fortunately, people like Chevelle keep kicking him down and, you know, hold the team back, but that's what I'm here for, you know? Oh, yeah, Maester. Everyone just <laughs> yeah. hops on Maester's back. Yep. I'm used to it. Mm-hmm. What, what are you at 50 in, Maester? What ain't I at 50 in? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, Cocky. Uh, <laughs> modest, too. <laughs> just... <laughs> that's your best yeah, quality. Just a little bit of double team and slay, you know. Please just tell us how you really slap feel. that statement, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're a level fifty and in, in double team, who's your partner? Um, uh, not sure if any guys remember him, but Wiley Coyote mm. slash Sneezy Penguin. He was in wow. the clan that, before. Yeah, of course. And yeah, why he, did uh, why did he leave? Well, I don't know. He's still like just not like active. Like he's just kind of like. More there to play than be a part of community, but cool. he he lives, he goes to my school. He's a midget. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> he, he's only a little little short, not that short. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he's a tall midget. Uh, you can say that. Make it feel better. <laughs> he's pretty. Like and once again, like we said before, we particular has nothing against midgets <laughs> or small people. Like dial packs. <laughs> oh. oh. So, uh, so Fumo Jeff, give an introduction as to what's going to go on today. Well, this week is the Multiplayer Tips and Map of the Month show. We're going to be talking all about how to help you guys level up and stay there in Halo 3 Multiplayer. We're also going to be covering Map of the Month this month, which is Valhalla. So we're going to teach you guys all about how to handle that map with vehicles, Spartan Laser, Sniper, being able to do lots of long-range fighting and handle the close-range fights as well, what to keep in mind, and you know how to handle the different game types as well on that map. And obviously, we got some uh, some guys that are kicking butt at Halo to help us out here. And what I want to know is how do you keep the girls off of you at level 50? <laughs> wow, well, Mace, you know. Mace, you can answer that. <laughs> Yo, especially with that beard. <laughs> Yo, Yo. like like they won't go away. You know, it's like those Axe commercials. You just gotta like kind of oh, keep yeah. them off you. Okay. Oh, nice. nice. Couple of things about the mystery. He just come, keeps on trucking. Yeah. <laughs> they can't take me down. I'm like a fullback, you know? Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> plow through them. An attack when a fullback's falling you, right? <laughs> yeah. So. I play fullback all the time, you know, too. <laughs> it's not like I'm on the line or anything. Fullback, where it's at. So, JV, why don't you start us off, man? Absolutely. We have one here by Chezaz. He says, hey guys, it's Arbitation here, and it's Gamer Tigers and Chazaz. He says on VIP in Valhalla, get your VIP, a shotgun with lots of ammo, and a sniper. Get, uh, get him to go to the base with about one or two guys. With this strategy, the VIP can snipe anybody that he can see from the doorway, and if someone goes through, he can just own them with the shotty. He is also protected against Banshees and Warthogs. If you're doing Capture the Flag and you have just captured the enemy's flag, go into one of the side 
side caves. No, as a matter of fact, I missed something. Go into the one sided. No, wait, wait. <laughs> Go to the side. Man cannons. The little, the little miniature ones on the sides. And hide in one of the little caves. Uh, along the side. Then get someone in the mongoose to come rescue you and take you back to the base. It also helps if you have someone covering you with a warthog or a banshee. Keep on sticking trucks. That capture the flag strategy sounds a little easier said than done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it was. Hope they don't. Yeah, come for their flag. You know what I mean? (laughs) Hope the TV's muted and don't hit the man cannon, but. uh... Yeah. Seems yeah, like as long no as you got the whole team dead, that's pretty, pretty easy to execute. Yes, I mean, I've seen incidents where it almost worked out the way he described it, and when uh, a mongoose came around, they blew it up with a missile pod. So, yeah. <laughs> and there went the flag carrier. It's it's it takes a lot of uh, teamwork to pull this off great, uh, the right way. Yep. That it does. So let's see who's up next here. Lucky. Is that me? Yeah, I'll go. All right. True Irish Luck says, first off, this is my first tip ever, so hopefully it's good. When going off the man can, I suggest dropping a bullet shield at the exact time you go off. This is especially good for narrows, so you won't get sniped. Also, a good way to get rid of someone else's bubble shield is to throw a grab lift right under them. This is very fun. Always surprises your enemy. Peace out. So, <laughs> so have you guys tried that on Valhalla? Well, I don't usually run out to the bubble shield spawn, run back to my base with it, and then proceed to go off it. But I guess if you're like in the flag game, that'd be pretty useful. Just so, like if you're gonna like say if you're waiting with a with a mongoose where the flag lands, like in the bubble shield, and you go off it with the flag carrier, and like you meet up there, mm-hmm. that's really the best you know good instance I could see it working, but. On the boat, on the main end. Hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. yes. So Tar Hills, you're up next, right? All right. So it's Yup two seven seven. I'm gonna give some bubble shield tips. It was frustrating with blowing themselves up whenever grenades and bubble shields are involved. Um, the following will help, may help you. You cannot throw grenades through the shield when you're still halfway through it. It's kind of kind of obvious. Instead, <laughs> you must wait until you all you're all the way out before you launch your grenade. Unless someone's chasing you through the bubble shield and you're doing it on purpose, of course. That's a useful way because you, when you're walking out, you throw the grenade at the bubble. bubble shield bounces back, kind of blows up the guy and the bubble shield. So you kind of have one-on-one action with him with no shield. Suicide. <laughs> How's that a suicide? That's what I do. <laughs> you kill yourself? Yeah. Take away. Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> that's good. He's a level fifty uh, against himself. Uh, Take for the team. <laughs> All right, yeah. If you're stuck in a situation where we are on one side of the, the shield and the enemy is on the other, remember that you can melee through the shield. And you, yeah, you can launch to the shield. Obviously, this is extremely useful. You know the opponent opponent has low shields, and you're sure that you can get the kill without them getting enough shots on you first. Nice. Yeah. I, it's kind of obvious stuff, though. Mm-hmm. Kind of repeat, feeding. Yeah, just shields block bullets and grenades, but not people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what boils down to. In a nutshell. Yeah. So Halo Freak Bunny says, "Hey guys, Halo Freak Bunny coming at you with a brief tip for one flag CTF on Valhalla. You can walk right up the wall under the forward-facing man cannon. So if you're on offense, have a guy climb up that, toss a few nades over the side, then have more guys running simultaneously from the sides and rear for a quick devastating attack." Good luck and keep on fragging purple belly, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sweet. Sweet. Well, Plasma Grenades has one. And he says, hey guys, it's Plasma Grenades, and I think the best way to dominate Valhalla is to have a good sniper, sit by the Pelican, and take out the enemies coming off the man canning. Did I say canning? Cannon. He <laughs> can also allow... Uh, your team to get the Spartan laser, which can come in very handy when the enemy is trying to use vehicles. Also, if you need to pick up a few easy kills, use the Warthog. It's hard to stop if you uh, without heavy weapons. So, 
can easily gain the lead. And that is so true and it's so frustrating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. when the opposing team gets your Warthog as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. They get two Warthogs and the and laser. And the Banshees. <laughs> yeah. When they get double Banshees, it's just as bad sometimes. Oh, man. It's... it's Banshees are horrible. It's definitely a good idea to focus on the laser right away. You have two yeah. smart... You have two laser... Um, Sniper rifles, so you can back up the guy who's trying to go for it. Mm -hmm. so or you can use the, the plasma pistol, or the power generator, to uh, oh, yeah. stall the, the vehicle. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. they, don't, they come close enough. Yeah, you need a couple of guys to take down a, a warthog. That way. I've used the plasma take... pistol because you can yeah. also do the same thing with the plasma mm -hmm. pistol. And it's funny when I'm playing in a room where I really don't know anyone, and I'm constantly screaming, "Use the plasma pistol!" Nobody listens to me, so I have to do it. Mm. <laughs> Gotta love random people in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving along. Alright, what is it? Yowler18 says, Yowl here, even though Valhalla is not my favorite Yowler. map. It is Yowler. Definitely <laughs> kick ass. <laughs> Yowler! Yowl! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a yowler. That's like another animal for the uh, Pontacular Zoo, man. Mm, a yowler. I think it's a monkey. A yowler, a yowler monkey? <laughs> a yowler yak. What about that one? <laughs> yeah. What does a yowler yak sound like? It's <laughs> like a crying dog. Oh, uh, crying dog? Was, oh, was, was, <laughs> so we guys talk about kicking puppies last episode or something? No. But when you kick, no, when you kick, when you like, when you kill the elite, it sounds like kicking a puppy. Or whatever. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Halo Three is 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 focused around a Spartan soldier with armor, and, and yet there's many people who just love animals and associate Halo <laughs> with animals. Their game attacks. Yep. Yeah, like the weird. Yowler, for instance. Mm -hmm, the Yowler. Yeah. Very common animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a rare species. It's, okay. it's common in Tasmania. They just run around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they run around with one leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get trampled by them sometimes. <laughs> of course, they all fall over. <laughs> <laughs> you get dogpiled by a bunch of yowlers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Anyway. Should I get back to reading it? <laughs> Go ahead. I'll just skip the first word. Alright. <laughs> Even though Valhalla is not my favorite map, it's definitely kick ass when it comes to CTF and, and Team Slayer. My tip is that because this map is so big, you can see across the map from almost any vantage point. Always to have a long range weapon like a BR or a sniper. Don't forget to always keep some nades when you're coming up on the other team's base. And it's usually helpful to have a weapon that is helpful in close combat. Example, a shotgun or assault rifle. Also, when playing CTF, I think that you should stay away from transporting your flag with the mongoose. Your only good defense is the luck of getting a splatter stick to the warthog for transport. These, those are my tips for the haul. Keep on fragging minivans, V-dubs, Chevelles, trucks, and mon geese. <laughs> Again with the minivans. And mo and and animals. <laughs> and one-legged yowler monkey yaks. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it me or 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 is it becoming apparent that that uh, Valhalla is comparable to? Um, Oh man, I can't even. I can't believe Blood that I forgot. Coag. No, and uh, Halo Two. Coagulation. Oh, Coag. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was just like that. When I saw it. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically, the same thing, but with a hill in the middle. What's cool though is you can't see one base from the other, so you don't get people sniping across the entire map and and you know spawn mm -hmm. killing pretty much. I kind of miss coagulation. So it's, it's pretty nice. interesting map. map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another map where if you lost control of your vehicles, you were dead <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on to this next uh, 
biography that someone wrote here. <laughs> I think you know him, right, this is Meister? How long. No, I don't. Oh no, he's from uh, he's GCN, from... right? You do yeah, that. yeah, yeah. All right, well, who's next? <laughs> Our heels. We like split it. We like. <laughs> we like split this up. How about that? A paragraph, I'll a paragraph each. Ooh, you get two because he's awesome like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll grab the first one then. Um, hey, pot back here. Um, Herona 09. Here's a few multiplayer tips. First, after you spawn, be sure to pick up a weapon as soon as possible. It doesn't matter what, but um, the AR kind of. Can I spawn with it usually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Probably know what you guys do. To stick with, yeah. Either that or a BR. Uh, it's always safe to keep an extra weapon in your arsenal so that as soon as you air a saw rifle into your enemy, you don't have to waste time reloading. Uh, simply change your alternate weapon and finish kill. An alternate alternative to do this is to get your enemy's shield down all the way with your AR, then toss a grenade to their vicinity, uh, which typically, typically results in their death. Having a second weapon is simply a second reassurance. Mm-hmm. It's very important to have a second weapon. Yep. It is. Run out of ammo with the assault rifle while he's reloading. You just finish him off. Go Rambo. That's Go, pretty ah, much. Ah, nub. <laughs> That's pretty much Halo 101 right there. Of course, you know, mm-hmm. pick right. up a weapon when you see it. But you know, but then again, it's Even. saying. Uh, any weapon will do. Uh, not really. Uh, nah. <laughs> some weapons are better than others, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but yes, doesn't mean to say it. Plasma three. pistol. It's not good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Plasma pistol. If there's no vehicles, you're not very useful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finish you off. Whoops. No, I'm not. <laughs> pew pew pew. <laughs> Die. He's modding. Pew 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 pew. pew. <laughs> so he says. Second. Like gun. <laughs> yeah. Really. Nice pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, second, study each map. As soon as the map starts, head to your favorite spot and grab your favorite power weapon. Oh, power weapons. Here we go. For instance, I'm a really big fan of the active camo and shotgun or mauler combo, which makes the pit my favorite map, as far as weapon and power-up availability goes. Uh, as soon as I spawn, I run to the middle and get the active camo. Be sure to avoid the player who has undoubtedly picked up the rocket launcher and head over to one of the back corners and get a shotgun. You can also head to the blue room and grab the sword as an alternative. Um, yeah, I mean, interesting. It's definitely good to get you know camo and then shotgun or mauler, definitely. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. especially in Halo Three, you can barely see the guy. Yeah, yeah no kidding. They changed that. <laughs> I think it's kind of good because like games like you know like I'm not sure if you guys remember like if we're playing on like MLG maps and lockout, people would often like basically lock down the map and there's no way you could get across it. And I think the camo in this game makes it you know. I'll try it with that so we can actually have a fighting chance. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I'll take the next paragraph. He says, third, take advantage of your take advantage of yours and your enemy surrounding. This specifically points to power cores. We can't count excuse me. I can't count. The times I would see a sniper on last resort standing right next to a power core and just blow himself away. Uh, watch where these lethal boxes spawn and try to lure your enemies close to them. But watch out or the effect could backfire. But there are also other objects that can come in, come in a really big handy. <laughs> that could, <laughs> whoa, what? Come in a really big handy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll rephrase it for him. <laughs> yeah, really, really come in handy. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> English not first When caught in the tight spot. Perfect example. I was playing a custom game with a few friends on Sand Trap, and I had a ha- I had happened to pick up the gravity hammer. Fortunately, right after, I ran into one of my friends who, ha- who picked up the Spartan laser. So I attempted to run behind a warthog as he started to scope in and walk towards me. Right before his laser went off, I slammed down on the hammer and sent the warthog flying at his face. I smacked him, killed him, and then counted, and it counted as a suicide on his part. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that, that must have been nice. That must have been nice. <laughs> you ran right into that falling Jeep. What were you doing? God. <laughs> oh, 
man, that would have been that. That must have looked funny. <laughs> would have been a great screenshot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number, somebody take fourth. I'll take this one. All right, fourth. Take advantage of your weapons. This is really general. It involves just noticing the obvious weaknesses and strengths of each weapon, but it also involves using special effects against your enemies. For instance, if you say if you see a guy with a brute shot. Throw a grenade his way, and it's practically an instant kill. If they try to shoot back at you, it'll blow up the grenade and kill them. Also, take advantage of the melee feature on the of the energy sword. All the newer Halo 3 players haven't yet figured out that using the B button mm -hmm. to to uh, beat down your enemy with your sword is a lot quicker than lunging with their right trigger. Mm -hmm. It also blocks your enemy's rush, giving you extra time to react. Get a friend in and practice sword fights. I did, and I pray for swords on normal pit since it's a sure one for me. Hmm. Yeah. yeah that's pretty interesting right. with the brute, with the brute yeah. shot. Yeah, I didn't even think that, realize that, that those happened. Mm -hmm. I've had instances where I've thrown a grenade and they shot in midair. I mean, it happened in Halo oh, yeah. 2 as well, yeah. but it happens a lot more now. I've and a, and a lot closer. <laughs> I've seen people like, shoot rockets before. In this in Halo Three, like on a rare occasion. Wow, that I don't, that would I don't be think cool. either, but <laughs> it happens, I guess. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so who wants I'll, to finish I'll this take, one off? I'll take the last one. <laughs> uh, lastly, take advantage of your sticky weapons and melee ability. Uh, my friends have started calling me the suicide bomber because I stick them much, so much. Whenever I can, I grab spike and plasma grenades. Then I walk off into a tight spot and, and know I can't get out. I just run up to them, throw a grenade, die in the process, and listen to them scream, he did it again. <laughs> Another great tool to get out of a tight spot is your melee ability. In Halo 2, this had a great significance, but Halo 3 is a whole new game. I had more melee kills than any other single weapon, and about 45% of my overkills are from melees. It takes me two melees to hit hits to kill your enemy. So all you have to do is get their shields down halfway and punch. Love the show. Keep up what you guys are doing. Keep on fragging trucks. Hmm. Thank you very much there, Heroin09. Heron. <laughs> we had a debate of, of how yeah. to <laughs> properly pronounce your name. So. <laughs> it's not so using right. a drug. Right. <laughs> but he brings up a lot of interesting points there. Yeah, and, like, uh, I like the great ships. I mean. Mm -hmm. I certainly will not try that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So moving along, who wants to? Uh, I think that's you, to JV. Okey smokey. Shotgun friendly says, "Hey guys, me once again." That <laughs> grammatically incorrect. Shotgun friendly. <laughs> not shotgun friendly. Okay. Okay. He spells it out the way he wants it to be read. Anyway, my tips for Valhalla, my favorite map, is for drivers on the Warthog. If you get stuck driving or choose to drive, you can be an extreme, uh, extreme savior for your teammates during any match. What your job, what your job in my mind in a match is to be ready to give support to any player who needs it, especially during territories, assault, and team slayer. My other tip. For Valhalla is to is if you are the one with the splazer. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice nickname for now. Yes. Well, he means the laser. Mm -hmm. If you have the, the the laser, don't waste your ammo on a single player unless you are being told told because they have the flag or the bomb. Use the shots on mongoose, warthogs, banshees. Same thing with missile pod players. I guess what I'm saying is that when you are when you have a strong weapon or vehicle, know your position in the team. Like if you were like if you have the warthog, don't go chasing after one player for no reason. Or if you have the missile pod, don't waste it its ammo on a person in long range. Trust me, you'll never hit them unless the person on the receiving end is a total retard. So wow. Know your position. Uh, know your position, and do that position. Anyway, shout outs to Centurion, Marcus, <laughs> mediocre sniper, Amen, 
Uh, wow, a bunch of guys. If you want to read all his shout outs to his friends, <laughs> read them on the show notes. Shout out to my At mom. Shout out to com. Abraham Lincoln. Shout out to <laughs> <laughs> Moma Gaddafi. <laughs> I, I swear you probably made that, that last name up. <laughs> you mind? He like spelled yeah, something backwards. But I mean, he, he makes sense here simply because, and it's it's always not easy to just sit back with a warthog and choose your spots when it, when it comes to protecting people because you also need a gunner and you need somebody who's going who's willing to cooperate so actually there's two people who need to know their roles yeah. on a team right. so good stuff i don't know man the one thing though is like he's talking about staying away from single kills like with the warthog mm-hmm. and with the um, spartan laser i don't know what do you what do you guys think about that i mean in my opinion well, that's like he's he's that's what wins the game is those is those well, is if taken it's out Slayer. one by one. I mean, I, ideally, you can kill a whole bunch of people at once, yes, but you gotta... Yeah. If it's Slayer, I, yes, you need all the kills you can get. What do you think? Yeah, I, 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 Lance, sorry. Like, I think... No, I think he's saying basically, like, don't, like, you know, risk, you know, your life as a warthog, like, just on, like, one guy, like, see if you got, like, Swan in the back of their base, whatever, don't just, like, go rush to him. Mm. We know the other guys are probably somewhere around. Just, mm. yeah. just, just trying to say, don't. Well, I find there. in in especially games like a uh, assault, where if you if you have the warthog and you have the bomb carrier, don't kill them. Let them stay in the middle of the map and just rush to their base because it's going to take them a lot longer to get there. Mm. And by then, you you plant the bomb, you have guys situated to protect you, and it's a lot easier for you to win. Yeah. yeah so that's another good thing to uh. Try to keep in mind. Hmm. So, like for instance, yeah. if someone uh, talking about the the one person again, if someone's uh, like if they're running around a corner and they get all the way around the corner to where they have kind of the advantage of possibly having grenades to stick you as you come around, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, or maybe having another weapon they can pull out or uh, grabbing a weapon that was dropped, you, instead of dealing with that possibility, just go for someone that's an easier kill, right? Yeah. Because like in Valhalla, it's got a lot of like, a lot of like you know big difference in level, and you know going around right. corners. A lot of the corners, if there are any in the map, are usually like in tight little areas, like the little valleys on the sides and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So usually it's better off just to like not you know focus on that one guy unless you know you know he's basically like one shot. You can easily just pop him real quick, but mm-hmm. otherwise you know you wanna because the warhog has complete dominance in that map. If you play yes. it smartly, mm-hmm. so you want to keep it as long as you can. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't yeah. Don't grab a spawn laser and run out there, and then they have a <laughs> a, a full spawn laser. <laughs> it just yeah. screws you over. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we See, got... even though a lot of people say that Halo Three is nothing but running gun, there is strategy. Yeah. There's a lot yeah, of strategy yeah, to definitely. the game. So don't believe the hype. Well, on Mm -hmm. to one from Little Kook, who says, Hey, Podtacular, what's going on? Well, I don't really have any general tips, except for don't play the new players playlist if you're really good at Halo. These guys are trying to have fun and learn the game, and for someone to come in and completely own them while they're not really supposed to (laughs) is kind of not cool. Well, how are they supposed to learn? (laughs) (laughs) You learn anything yet, noob? That's how I get my confidence up, damn you. I just gave you a lesson. (laughs) Noob. (laughs) <laughs> Guest number three. <laughs> I phoned you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, he says. Uh, anyway, on to Valhalla, one of my favorite maps, next to Guardian. Uh, I made an awesome race map on it. It'll be in my file share soon. Some of the greatest games have ever have been played on Valhalla, including the game that Pottacker won during the Hump Day Challenge. I remember one time in the beta, I was playing Ninja Flag on Valhalla and in a custom game with 300% speed and 50% gravity. Ah, what a great game. <laughs> so Hella is an awesome map mostly because it's customization options. It's also a great war map when two teams can head-on collide with mongoose and lasers and missile pods. Oh my. Basically, Valhalla is an epic map with lots of attributes and truly one of Bungie's greatest. Well, that's all I have for the show. Shout out to everyone who's seen my first SIG on the forums and encourage me to make more of you guys rock. He, and he says, keep on fragging trucks that truck frags, get a kiss grunts that hug one-eyed green backpack al- alpacas <laughs> that eat lemon coated cupcakes at midnight of the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, wow. All I want to know is, what is an alpaca? 
I know. <laughs> Green backed alpaca at that. Yeah, with one eye. <laughs> with one eye. <laughs> One leg. Oh, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Imaginations. <laughs> wow. wow. Often seen hurrying together with yellers. <laughs> they often awesome. have battles in the middle of the night. Yes. <laughs> there is a <laughs> on the open a plains of Tasmania. <laughs> there is a blood fuel between uh, the yowlers and the alpacas. Alpacas. <laughs> that has gone on for centuries. No one has known about him until now. <laughs> Underworld <laughs> 3. <laughs> they live in the sewers. They live among us. Alpaca's hell. Has no fury. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> hell has no fury like an angry alpaca with the green back and one. <laughs> Yallers. Unite! <laughs> kind of I, think scary, I, I, know. I think a yowler looks kind of like Jar Jar Binks. I don't know. That sounds like it. Jar Jar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, we've gotten right. into a lot of different topics in one oh, yeah. <laughs> span of two minutes. Uh, Who's up yeah, next? like you said, Valhalla's a, a wicked, like, nice forge map to do anything on. It's so big and it's got rivers and stuff like that and cliffs and racing tracks. I love that big mix on the hollow. <laughs> Next to the river. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll take the next right. one. Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, it's the Bounties here. Uh, the bounties. There are many ways <laughs> like Epic name, huh? Mm -hmm. There are many ways to be at the top of the pack in this stage. First is to get the Banshee. Oh, I hate those people who get the Banshee. Right? <laughs> oh, that'd be me. That'd oh, be me. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> or Dial. You're like, you know, like 25 and a hole. <laughs> oh my Perfection. God. And then I get a wicked mat. Oh. Alright, whatever. <laughs> uh, get in the Banshee and take people out from there, or take them as the pod and take out the enemy Banshee. Uh, if you don't have a battery full, then you should get one as soon as possible. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Because it will probably save your life a couple times, and if you do, if you do, you should hang out by the fallen pelican uh, with the regenerator and take out people. No. Huh? <laughs> no, I <guess>. sorry. <laughs> pelican. Pelican. <laughs> you drop the them and can't. Or what I like to do is take the sniper rifle from my base and take the man cannon to the mini cab with a bulb shield spawns and snipe from there and deploy the bulb shield if you get attacked. Um, if you're in any kind of vehicle, always be listening to the beeping of a siren. I, I forgot about that until now, until yeah. you just mentioned to it. I had no idea about that. I remember in the beta, I when I was in a banshee, I'd freak out when I heard that noise. Um, oh, like when you're locked on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, so to summarize all this, never stand, never stand still. Listen to beeping, and uh, don't get shot by a Spartan laser. I give a shout out to the Podsacular Zoo, and tell them to keep on zip zopping zippy doos. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Just make up these things. I don't know. Jamie B is gonna have a, a <laughs> schizoembolism. Heart attack. <laughs> Zip zopping zippy doos. <laughs> that was good. And he also asked, "Is there such thing as a woman cannon?" <laughs> that young man, you have to experience for yourself. <laughs> Of life. There are plenty of find out one women day. cannons. Just yeah. go to any bar, get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see them around. <laughs> oh, well, man. I think, uh, Meister, you get this one, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, this one looks like it's tardy towards me or something. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> apparently some someone. All some right, Chevelle 65, whoever that is. 
I know Mr. GXL likes to hoard the rockets in Vizzy and Shotgun. How do you get there first to get these items, and where are your favorite camping spots? Signed, Show 65. Well, Tar Heels, let you answer this. Let's oh, see yeah. what you think. It's, it's not really written towards me, Mr. Gordon. No, you don't, wanna, you, you don't have any strategy how to beat me towards the rockets or anything? Um, no. No. Uh, betrayal? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you just, <laughs> betrayal yeah. does work. I do have betrayal, but sure, well, I, I know you do it many times. You just kill me. So yeah, he, he picks on me. I'm like instant little child. He just you know takes my lunch money. <laughs> you know all of those. But yeah, no, so basically you go into games and tell everyone to to betray Chevelle. <laughs> like the, the main we point of the about? game. Oh, that, is, that is the point of the game. See so you get the all stuck in. <laughs> no, no, shot snipers. What I'll do is, well, you know, we'll be on the how or whatever. So, randomly, I'll just shoot him across the map, you know, the leg. So, I don't kill him. So, I can't get booted. But I'll take out his shield. And then he'll start, like, whining. And then I'll get shot. And then blame on me. <laughs> and then I ask him, you know, why he went negative. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's you, Only Mason is the answer. I really wouldn't want to play with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, man. You think Mason's a little fifty? <laughs> yeah, I think. Screws his teammates over all the time. <laughs> Note to He's self: my hog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Cool. Alrighty, so yeah, you want to take the next one, or since that one, or Let me, uh, the next sure. individual, or whatever. I'll do it. All right, Matt Adam Four says, "My tip for territories on Valhalla: starting off as the offensive team, stay in a group and try to take over every territory one by one." I know some other people will beg to differ, but I am finding out playing my friends that you must hold ground together in order to win. Starting as a defensive team, have two people jump in a mongoose and take off towards territory one, the closest to the opponent's base. Do a drive-by where the passenger throws a grenade into the opposite team and begins to AR them. This most likely will be taken anyways. This territory is still mostly taken anyways, but it will spare you at least 30 seconds while the other team has to regroup. From there, keep one man at every territory. If they are not able to hold it and they die, two people must rush over, eliminate the opposition, and then resume defense. Shout out to Rec E, you guys rock. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Territory is a big part of Valhalla. Yeah, huh. you either do great or horrible. Oh, really yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's talk that, about it for a little that bit. That one right there takes a lot of teamwork. <laughs> yeah, what What do you guys uh, can you guys give a little bit of uh, strategy for like the specific territories on Valhalla? Well, uh, well territory the... territory one is always basically a given. Mm -hmm, a given. I don't. I don't. I like to go to that one. If If I'm on defense, I go to that one first. So yeah. because the guy, the person there is caught off guard, so you can kind of defend that one pretty easy. Yeah. The hardest one is always, for some reason, number two. Yeah, right I think, yeah, number two. Just because it's right, you know, in cover, and mm -hmm. they get the regenerator right there, too. You get to the regen and before they do. The sniper usually will move towards that side because, you know, that's not the main can side. It's cr it, it of course, you have shock, but it's there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah. I kind of agree with him. Like he says, how to move as a group, but I think sometimes you have to, you know, basically you have to split up. Yeah, yeah you have to give a feint somewhere. Like you know, sometimes I'll see people do it, or I'll do it where you know you have one person just immediately like, rush their base because mm -hmm. you know most of them are just gonna like you know I'll go to fire, go out. Yeah. yeah, and then basically just surprise them. Yeah, and even if you don't succeed, at least somebody's gonna stay there and they're gonna be more yeah. aware. So that eliminates. Some of their defense for the remaining four. Mm. It's or, a chess game. Or if like everyone's on one side of the map next to the telegram or something like that, you can take uh, hustle over to where the bubble shield's on and uh, sit up there. Probably get five and whatever that territory. I think five and four. One in yeah. the base, then, uh, yeah. one next to the bubble shield. Four is probably gonna be the hardest one to get just because it's in like. Basically, a grenade okay. hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you hold for no I mean, when you got that coming in? You know, when you got a couple guys well, coming in? Basically, uh, the only reason you guys see is basically you probably want to have. Stay hidden. Ideally, oh, yeah. a you sniper need, would help. <laughs> yeah, you, but, you, need, you need cover outside. 
where they're not going to get close enough to bombard you with grenades. Yeah. Then you got to stay in there and just pray, and then eventually that guy's going to die before he, he reaches uh, the full uh, capacity of the flag or, or territory. So somebody has to rush in and then, you know, kind of replace the one defending him or whatever. It's, it's, that one specifically is, yeah. gets you really can't, crazy. You can't get that one. one without getting any other ones. Unless they're not paying attention. Yeah. Then, you know, then you get, around. then you got lucky. But now, yeah. with, with the game being out for what, three months now? People know strategies now and definitely number four is probably the toughest one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Hoogs88 says, Hey guys, here are a few tips for objective game types on Valhalla. For defense on assault, park the Warthog on the top of the bomb planting area. This will make it hard, if not impossible, for the other team to plant the bomb. It can also be used to block entrances and park or parked in the back with a guy on the turret. If you, you may also just stuff the base with vehicles to slow down opponents. To capture the flag, just pile vehicles on and around the flag. For offense on capture the flag, drive one of your teammates in a mongoose to the opposing base. Have them grab the flag and launch it off one of the airlifts. Make sure they tell you which one they're using. Once they land, have your mongoose ready for them and you can make a quick getaway. Before using this strategy, you may want to do it in a, into a custom game. You may want to go into a custom game and test it to see ex to see exactly where the lifts deposit players. If you, if you use this strategy, no, he says he's used this strategy with his brother countless times, and it seems to work at least half of the time. That's all he has for now. He says keep up the great work with the podcast. Thank you very much, Hugs. Cool. Yeah, it's one of those things like uh, it's easier said. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. The problem is getting it <laughs> onto the lift. There's right? another team involved. What's that? The problem is getting it onto the lift and off of the pad, right? Off of the man cannon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. I've I've done it where like maybe ten minutes into the game, I get I'm usually a defensive player on capture the flag. I'll get frustrated, take the mongoose, go in alone. Kill one or two guys, and then grab the flag. Even if I die, the flag gets shot away with the man cannon. And then, and, you know, if they're listening to me at the time, they'll they'll realize that the flag has been uh, taken out of the base. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if if it's not done correctly, you're you're gonna lose pretty much. You're not gonna score. Yeah. You drop the man cannon by yourself. <laughs> I've had an instance where guy. me and, a, and some random guy we. We just got frustrated, and he's like, get on the back, get on the back. We're on a mongoose. We both killed, like, four guys defending the base. I get on the mongoose with the flag, and we man cannon off it. And it, it was just by, I doubt it was skill, but by luck, we never flipped over. <laughs> we just stood straight in the air. I even took a picture of it, and we, we scored. We didn't win. It was, you know, 1-0, but it was, you know, it was one of those where, once in a while, uh, a few guys will, hmm. are able to grab the flag and score it. Yeah, that easy. All in one shot. Yeah, make it look yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah. Something, how he's talking about blocking the flag. Mm -hmm. I just saw this probably about two weeks ago, but it's not in Valhalla, but on the map, uh, Last Resort, you guys know how there's that big, huge, like, gigantic green box in the base? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like. It, and what, what I saw people do is that they, I believe there's a brute shot that spawns in the base, like, above that or something. And what they did is they actually shot and flipped the green box over on top of the flag. And there's God. absolutely no way you can even, like, touch the flag when it's on top of it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, I thought there was basically no way to get, you know, get to the flag because you can't even get near it and then all sitting there, of course. Did, did the box respawn after a while? Yeah, or just I, there? apparently the box, my friend said the box respawned like like a minute later. Okay. Somehow. It's like, but it's like, that would be a good strategy to do around. towards the end of a game. Yeah, Definitely. stop them yeah. the over time. Halo whatever. 2, uh, what, what, wow, I'm forgetting my Halo 2 maps. What was the map <laughs> that was inside of the cave? That was strictly big team battle, and everybody hated. Inside the cave, 
Colossus? Containment? Containment. Containment. Talking about. Where you would take the wraith and block off the entrances with the boxes, the crates. Oh, oh, um... Oh my, Not waterworks. Yeah, yeah, waterworks. There we yeah, go. There yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that map that. was infamous. Yeah, that, for, infamous yeah. for that. I, <laughs> I would like, automatically do that right away. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to always uh, get the banshees too on coagulation and block the um, the uh, like the main cannon at the bottom that went to the top floor, the lift. Mm. And uh, if you oh, blocked yeah, yeah. if you blocked that at the top, they couldn't. They'd go up the lift and they get stuck at the top, and you could just shoot them down. But uh, <laughs> same thing with taking the ghost on the opposite end and going down. You could like hang it off the back of that. Uh, of that drop there, and then when they tried to jump down, they had to like you know shuffle around a little bit, and they couldn't always get down, and you could just shoot them down while they're so you could just block both entrances, and they come in, and they're like, no, we're taking away. It may sound <laughs> cheesy, but it works, and whatever yeah. it takes to win, as long as you're doing it fairly, because those are strategies that have been around since Halo Combat Evolved. I remember right. being being in the base, and people would just drove in water hogs and blocked entrances and couldn't get out. <laughs> but the flag was safe. Yep. Well, it matters. Mm-hmm. All right, so who's All right, next here? Next. I think you are. You are, fool. Oh. You are. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. On to Anorexic Leader, who says, I don't get a chance to play Valhalla too often. However, I do know some good tips on how to stay alive and, more importantly, rack up kills. If you're a good sniper, make sure in the lobby to convince your teammates that you should grab it and start uh, off the match. Chances are it's always a race to get it, and more than likely Bungie will curse you and you will spawn the furthest away. <laughs> a good sniper is key to pulling ahead quickly. Try to pair your sniper rifle with a BR so that if you've landed a body shot, you can, you can get the second shot. Uh, or if you've landed a body shot and you can't get the second shot with a sniper, you can easily finish them off with one BR shot to the face. If you do snipe, it's better to stay on the sides of the map rather than rush to the middle, because more than likely there are three enemies and one laser pointed directly at you. Controlling vehicles can be very important to small 4v4 games. Usually my team has me as a sniper with one guy acting as a scout, and two guys riding around in the Warthog. The Warthog will flush enemies out for me to snipe, and my buddy will watch my back. If you're stuck without the sniper or other weapon you desire before heading into combat, take a quick pan of what the enemy is doing at the center of the level. This often tells me rather to whether to man cannon to the center all gung-ho and push my way to the laser spawn, or run out from the base below quietly and try to take out a vehicle. If the other team has a mongoose or warthog in control, be sure to pick up a BR and a plasma pistol. The pistol will stop the engine and, more importantly, drop their shields, allowing you to easily score a double or triple kill without destroying their vehicle. Dude, that's cool. Um, that could allow you and your, enemy, your teammates to commandeer your foe's ride. The shotgun is not all that effective on this large map, however, if you're playing VIP or protecting your ally who has laser on the hill, this weapon can mean all the difference. In VIP, have your VIP grab the shotgun and camp out on the cove. As long as you can avoid the grenades, you'll force them to run in and feel your buckshot beatdown combo. That's all the tips about Valhalla. Oh, he wants to give a quick shout out to Chucky J and all the members of the Godtacular Bible Study, godtacular.com. Uh, Logan Payne for his addiction to WoW, <laughs> Squirrel for Custom Saturdays. <laughs> Uh, well, Gmani01 for his awesomeness and as always, Fumo Jive and JBB for the great podcast. I swear Fumo is unbeatable Thank in Parker's own. Dang straight, man. <laughs> Carcass. Yeah. yeah. I love that game, man. I, I got all the achievements. And I've only been beaten oh, once did? so far since I got the hang of it. Wow. 105 to 103. Close game. <laughs> did he use mods? <laughs> yeah, I turned, like the, uh... I turned them all on. I turned on all the skulls. <laughs> wow, you like the, does that all the time? The legend of Carcassonne. <laughs> I'm pwning all your cities. I'm grabbing all your roads. <laughs> all your sheep belong to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Next. Um. Swift Ninja 1. He's hey a guys. Swift Ninja. <laughs> Very Swift. <laughs> it says Swift in there. Uh, swift Ninja 1 here. <laughs> Some tips. For Valhalla. Uh, first of all, if you get in the Warthog at your base and drive it into the man kit, uh, be careful because you will probably end up flipping over the hog. Uh, secondly, for CTF games, a good tactic is to have four people get in the mongooses and drive to the other base. Um, when they get there, 
they can take out everyone at the base. Then you can have three people waiting in your hog, driving to the base. Take the flag and drive back to score. <laughs> this worked for me many times. There are my tips. Keep on fragging trucks and smash potatoes. Instead of going bad after three weeks. <laughs> 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 and then go zip zop some zippity doos. <laughs> oh man, what 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 have we we created? I don't know, man. People no are idea. <laughs> These people are getting really creative with this stuff. <laughs> oh man, and and it's funny because Tar Heels. Is always the one reading these these weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> so the tone of his voice makes it even funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the the Tasmanian plane the the battle plane is getting pretty crowded these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weapon is now potatoes. <laughs> oh, nice. Those potato nice. steak, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, is that a rotten potato in your pants? <laughs> uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, well, things grow and sprouts. Well, I believe Meister. I. <laughs> hey. Growing sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper 6PK says, What's up, Pottacular? Dr. Pepper 6PK here, and I've got a few tips for multiplayer. First of all, know the maps. It is important to know weapon placements, spawn points, flag spawn, etc. The easiest way to do this is just to forge the map and scout around as the wander. Knowing where everything is is important in a match because you are aware of the map and all routes so you can protect your flag or help your teammates. Because it's not very fun yelling into the mic. Where's the flag? I can't find your flag. And people yelling back. Shut up, noob. <laughs> <laughs> like we sell it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> we all gotta say shut up before we can continue. <laughs> uh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Second of all. Get to know the weapons, such as their weaknesses and strengths. It helps to know you're supposed to use a weapon or not, and how to counter them. For instance, don't try to counter a sniper with a shotgun. Hmm. Also, remember to keep moving. Strafing helps. Use grenades before firing upon someone, but most important of all, communication. It may be hard to communicate with the average player, but with the right amount of teamwork, any team can overcome a team of uncoordinated brigadiers. Thanks for reading. Keep frog blasting the vent core. What? <laughs> that's from a marathon, dude. That's actually from something. <laughs> frog yeah, blasting. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So, uh, moving on to uh, Frubin. First thing you think about when when Valhalla is wow. Well, that man cannon goes far. This strategy is off foiled by an enemy sniper with a steady aim at the other base. What I found is that you can split up into two Team Slayer and each pair goes off to the sides. You can flank the other team from two sides and gain that ever pop, pop that ever so powerful Spartan laser. From here you can set yourself up with one pair on the side with the most cover and the other pair in the middle. Then overwhelm them as they spawn in their base. Make sure you have a sniper as they can quickly, as they will quickly catch on. Proceed to take over their base, grabbing any weapon they could use against you. Fall back to the middle and continue your slaughter against the other team. Give them no position to attack, except the man cannon, which the team in the middle can easily take care of, with a few shots from any mid to long range weapon. The strategy may be carried over to shoddy snipers, but the middle may be too open to stay in. The sides of the map will provide more cover. Good job on the show. Keep up the great work. Keep on fragging trucks. Nice. That's a good strategy, and, and Bungie actually was doing that to us during our hunt day challenge. They took over the middle of the map. We were fortunate enough to 
counter that attack, but that was shoddy snipers. When it's a typical Slayer game, what he described is good, but he has to remember they're going to have a Missile Pod, Banshee, and a Warthog. Mm -hmm. So, the Spartan Laser could only take care of one of those vehicles, or the Missile Pod got a Carrier. So their sniper can counter the, the the Spartan laser by shooting them down, which would open things up a little bit. So you, you're not going to shoot all the vehicles with the Spartan laser in one shot. So it's a bit risky. It's not as easy as it sounds. But nonetheless, definitely, in a typical Slayer match, the middle and the sides where the Pelican is at is a good strategy. A good strategy and a good place to take over. Yeah, once you take on the Banshee... Bench is from the main thing you want to take down, mm -hmm. and then and then warrior boat, uh, the warthog and or mongoose. I got to go mongoose. My bad. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just I don't know what it is. Mongoose, mongoose. <laughs> Who knows? Monfoot. Mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you guys. Mon actually, guy. um, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> my guy. Bright light. Bright light. <laughs> Don't feed them after midnight. Um, <laughs> I got a question for you guys, actually. Um, I tend to, a lot of times, I'll go over to the uh, turret over there by the kind of the radar area and the, um, the mongoose that's parked there. Um, and I'll go and use that, and I'll kill two or three guys over there. As, as long as I'm careful to get off the, the turret, you know, as soon as I kill two or three guys... Then that mm -hmm. ends up being, you know, a pretty good, a pretty good setup for. Do me you actually leave yeah. the gun on the turtle, or, or do you rip it off its tripod and? I I I just like that. I just jump off of it and then jump down to the bottom um, if I can get away. Um, mm -hmm. Just because if if I if I rip it off the turret, then I can't aim up as much. I can't. I'm not as movable. And somebody's once I kill two or three guys, they're mad and they're coming for me. So. Yeah. I want to be as flexible as I can in the in the short the short distance. Yeah. yeah, you love turrets, dude. <laughs> yep. I remember that match we had, and I had the rocket launcher, and and you were I was in the middle of the map, and you were way in the back of your base on the turret, of course, on the mongo. I mean, on the warthog. I remember that. And I was like, let me see if this thing will actually hit him from this distance, and it took forever. But all I see is you just standing there shooting. <laughs> And the missiles take it forever to, to get there, the rocket, I mean. And it's like, la, 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 la. And then finally, boom! I'm like, yay! Shove me across the map. <laughs> Never saw it coming. Yep. I mean, it looked like he was looking right at the, the rocket because he was aiming. I don't know who he was aiming at. He was shooting right towards it. I just heard... I'm like, he's going to... I'm like, heard, he's going to get off. He's going to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the... You know... <laughs> It only gives you about half a second warning, and by that time, you can't really get off the thing, because you know how he gets yeah. off the turret. He's like, okay, mm. let me turn this off over here, yeah. uh, and let, let me let, me, let go let me of this, my foot and here, uh, step my down in the here. safe zone, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Put my hand here, don't want to slip. <laughs> Just jump. <laughs> You're a super, super advanced soldier. Jump. Steady footing, steady footing. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have a few more. Actually, we have one more. And uh, my, do uh, you want to take this one there, Meister? Well, do we have Furman and do we do Furman? Yes. Yes. I just did that one. Okay. All right. Your uh, buddy, yeah. War Hero. Nine. Happens to be my neighbor, I guess. All right. You guess? I guess so. You know, I don't <laughs> don't often see him. He says he's or anything neighbor. like that. <laughs> yeah, he's some neighbor. <laughs> you, you know what a neighbor is, right? <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, too many players Not make really. the mistake of thinking thinking that Halo is all about who is the best shooter out there. Well, if you look at what makes the difference between a good player and a bad player, it's nine out of ten the player movement. Of course, you won't win if you cannot hit the broad side of the mule, but movement is essential to Halo. When you are moving, there are variables you should be aware of. Be thinking how many players are in front of me, how many players are behind me. What weapons are secure and what weapons are loose? What range is your weapon optimized for? How many grenades do you have and what type? All of these things determine how you should move. If mm -hmm. you see two opposing players around the corner just to destroy your friend and you have no one else around, don't turn that corner and try to pick up the single kill. You will wind up just cutting even, or even worse. The opponent has moved away from harm 
as you round the corner and you get nailed adding points to the opponent. Yep. If you have opponents on both sides of you and you don't believe that you have been detected yet, avoid detection and remove yourself from the middle of them. Nothing other than watching the rocket launcher being taken from in front of you is worse than being surrounded. <laughs> when thinking about weapons, if you know your team has a sniper rifle, you figure that there are about two on each map, unless it's high ground, and figure it's not a smart idea to run in the open. Also for weapons you are carrying, if you have an assault rifle, you don't want to be moving in open spaces to Valhalla, because you're just a sitting duck for a battle rifle and a mm -hmm. sniper rifle. Yes, you are. So, yeah, on Valhalla, basically, you make sure if you're going to leave the base, grab a BR, because if you don't, you're screwed. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there's four in the base, I think, that spawn, at least. Mm -hmm. And more in front of you off the mannequins, so just make sure you get one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. You're stuck there with no weapon, it kind of sucks because you know, wind it out a couple minutes mm -hmm. for the action. Yeah, yeah I've shield. been there. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> I usually just hop in there until you take the mannequin in my AR. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing the AR is, is pretty effective. Yeah, but in yeah. a map like There's Valhalla, if you're far yeah. away, forget it. <laughs> Against a BR, not so much though. No. Mm. Yeah, you're gripped apart. So that's why you gotta get all, all the grenades you can. Definitely. Right. Mm -hmm. Also, more on this: grenades determine if you're going to swing around that corner. Yeah, throwing a grenade around the corner of the enemy can give you the upper hand, and many times is a great escape trick to at least break even. If the player is stupid enough to run through the field, grenades field destruction. Aside from that, just remember that running from combat and recharging your shields is as good as a point off the opposing team's mm -hmm. score. So do it whenever you can. It will increase your score greatly. Exactly. It's a good idea to be a smart player. Don't yeah. there? I I get caught off some sometimes where. I get a little ticked off and and I lose focus and I start rushing at an opponent. And that's when I lose. Right. When I play it safe, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, it might seem like you're a chicken, but you got to recharge your, your shields. Yeah. Let them make the mistake. The less right. that's bad, the better. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because he was talking in the first, in the second paragraph about, you know, determining who's behind you, who's in front of you, how much, you know, what kind of weapon you have. You're doing all that, and and and. and a matter of seconds. Seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of there's a lot of skill in these types of games, uh, whether it's Unreal Championship or Halo. It, there's a lot of thinking going on, and when you're an above average player, those are the things you're thinking about in All seconds, time. like split second, boom. Yeah. All right, let me back away. I don't have this gun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Even, also, even the weapons like your your teammate have, if your teammate runs around the corner with a shotgun, and there are three guys there. Mm -hmm. Most likely, he he's gonna uh, die. He, he got assassinated or something. He could get a shot off because he got a shot off. There's there's one kill for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, yeah. Yes, and and also, like there's plenty of times. I love the battle rifle, and there's plenty of times where I I run around and with the battle rifle in a close combat situation. So I catch myself beforehand, but. Most of the time, I, I'll continue sticking with the battle rifle, and the assault rifle is going to win in the close, in the yeah. close prox in close proximity. So you got to also train yourself, like he said, determine what weapon you have, and and remember what's what, what what's better at what situation. Yeah, Com communication definitely goes into a big part, you know, with controlling the weapons and mm -hmm. where enemies are, because if you aren't talking teammates, you know, you don't know. Say if your player just died and gave up the sniper, mm -hmm. and that's you know obviously it can always be a huge turning point in the game. Exactly. You always want to keep talking, even if you're like getting mad. Just make sure you <laughs> just keep your head in. Mm -hmm. My wife, one time she caught me screaming out because I got I got mad because the opposing team had a sniper uh, position somewhere and he was sniping us, but nobody said anything. So I go and I go out into this area. And I get sniped. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me there's a sniper there? <laughs> and she's like, well, who are you to control them? I'm like, babe, it's a team game. <laughs> they got to understand. 
<laughs> but it's simple. It's simple. Hey, there's a sniper over there. Don't go there. Go the ultimate right, route. Right. It saves you. It saves them a point. It's all about mm. the points. Yep. And the vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Well, on cool. that, let's uh, wrap this puppy up here. Uh, yeah, we actually got to read everybody. Yay! Oh. Well, send in your comments, etc. to podtacker at gmail.com. We depend on your submissions to keep the show going. Keep an eye on podtacker.com for an invitation to send in stuff for next week's show. You can call our listener voicemail at 206-888-HALO. That's 206-888-HALO. <laughs> Hooked on Phonics is calling my name. <laughs> and leave a Halo related message. We play these back regularly on the Collins and Tales from the Foxhole show. I didn't get it wrong this time. Hey, cool. <laughs> um, be, hey. Sure to out... <laughs> <laughs> be sure to check us out at podcast.com. And while you're checking out the forums, there's lots of events, projects, and ways to make friends and play Halo with cool people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely true. All right. Thanks to all the people that contribute to Podtacular, whether it's working on the community or site, contributing to our PayPal to help out with the hosting bill, or subscribing to the show and reviewing us in iTunes. We couldn't do it without you. And don't forget the new Zoom uh, marketplace. You can also subscribe to Podtacular in the Zoom marketplace. So mm -hmm. if you have a Zoom, you can do that. You don't even need a Zoom. You just download the software. We'll check out the other shows on the GamerCast Network, Gamer Tag Radio, Uncle Gamer, Sarcastic Gamer, Achievement Junkie, and the GCN Video Game Show. Mm -hmm. And I want to give a shout out, simply because I said I would, to Vicious696 and Kiki Cat. And a shout out For to... For no particular it. reason. <laughs> <laughs> and a shout out to Immortal3, who is going to be in the show, but uh, Tar Heels made yes. it. Yes. I showed up. I was decided to show up last minute. Yeah. yeah. And and quickly, uh, regarding the GamerCast Network, GamerTag Radio just announced its nominees for its upcoming Community Awards show. So go over there, check out the nominees, and uh, show your support for these different shows, blogs, individuals, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All good stuff. Well, until next time, That's I'm Fumo Jive. I'm JVB. I'm Macy JXL. And I'm Tower Heels. Keep on All frame right. trucks. We got to come up with something creative, man. Our, man. our, our <laughs> listeners are beating us to the punch. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to say after that zippity, boopity, yeah, boppity. Yeah. Uh, and the other one, uh, alpacas. mashing potatoes that are bad. And <laughs> yeah, the alpacas and the potatoes. Alpacas with the green back. The yowlers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Keep on That's... fragging polka dotted mohawked hairless hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Yes. Yeah. Zip top and zippity deuce. <laughs> Sounds like a new new dessert. Let me get a zippity doo. <laughs> ah, crap. With a saddle to ice cream. Oh, the dog wants to zip. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's like, oh, what is it to do? He's like, I love dogs. Rip, very rope. Dogs talking to my brother. Dog language. Rip, 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 rip. My cat's going to be meowing that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <no. laughs> Oh man! I can't say. Threaten your cat with a yowler. <laughs> yeah. Make me get a yowler. Shut up! You. I'm getting yelly after you in a greenback alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up what an alpaca is. Uh, yeah. That's... Alpaca. No I'm sure man, it's that's. Very oh, there we go. <laughs> there is a such thing as an alpaca. <laughs> Oh, like, it looks like something. a llama, dude. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, that is freaky looking. Post it in the chat. It looks oh, like yeah. a cross between a uh, Great Dane a and... Like a poodle. And a, a yeah, like a giant poodle. poodle. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm going to send you guys a, a look giant right poodle now. and a Great Dane and a llama with a green back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great... Wow. 
<laughs> wow. And one leg. Vicognus <laughs> pacos. <laughs> oh, it's a domesticated species of South African camelid. It Dang. resembles a small llama in superficial appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Alpacas. A are mini llama? Al <laughs> <laughs> Tina, eat your Me. dinner! <laughs> I'm a mini llama and I'm crazy. <laughs> Alpacas are kept in herds that graze on the level. Heights of Andes of Ecuador, mm. southern Peru, northern Bolivia. Wow. So yeah, That's good I don't know how the little kook found that out, but uh, <laughs> apparently he loves alpacas. Oh yeah, get them. <laughs> <laughs> I have three or four of them myself. Pretty good. Yeah, you know. They're a, quite the delicacy. <laughs> 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 Let me get the alpaca soup. Please. They're very uh, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna say that corner. at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Can I be an alpaca? <laughs> My golly, he said uh, Al Qaeda, kill him. <laughs> On the side of Zippy's oh. Omni News. <laughs> yeah, it's a rotten potatoes. Sprouts go. Oh man, what a Thanksgiving feast, huh? There's only one thing left to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That was awesome. How is that vegetarian turkey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's called Tofurky, man. <laughs> Tofurky? Yeah. Tofurky. Yeah, I had some this, uh, this year. It's really good. <laughs> really? What is it? Like a giant Yo. tofu they shaped as a turkey? <laughs> Basically, it's like a big... It's like a big <laughs> flat sphere. That's that's made out of uh, textured protein or tofu, <laughs> and uh, it tastes like oh. turkey pretty much. And they have uh, vegetarian stuffing in the middle. It's pretty awesome. Oh. <laughs> it's really good stuff. stuff. Of course, it doesn't have wings or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been interesting. <laughs> tofu, turkey wings. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, it's boneless too, which is nice. Oh, <laughs> I would hope so, <laughs> because I never heard of a tofu bone. <laughs> I had to go kill a tofurkey to get it, of course. <laughs> They're running around with no bones, just kind of like just plopping around. Dye the beard blue now. Yeah, yeah get, get going on it, Mace. Go bleach that. You should, you should <laughs> do it purple. Purple? No, purple's not my color. <laughs> yeah, it is. See, Pink? No, because purple. You could be see, a purple like... bearded alpaca. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Attack real alpaca. <laughs> Zips up and zippy news. <laughs> oh man, that was All funny right. the way you said it, man. You're like, I know. On zip zop and zippy news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, zip zop and zippy news. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy B almost freaking had a heart attack. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing because of the way he said it. <laughs> He's like that commercial. What was the commercial where the guy goes, wow. Yeah, Ben Stein, yeah. Oh, oh, the, the wow. clear eye guy. Yeah. yeah from Ferris Bueller, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, the guy that says Bueller. Keep on zip zipping <laughs> zip <and> news. <laughs> <laughs> like it was something we heard every day, you know? 